won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking the doors. Crap, I'm uh, everyone. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. <laughs> I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm, I see you've made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Damn! <laughs> okay. Very gonna be so sad. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog is delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. You wanna do it? You got it? I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. And the boy was, who wants to meet with him? Well, Barry, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright. Ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Barry. Oh, where it's is jazz. it? There it's, it is, there it is. It's jazz. Tails. <laughs> Just Tails. 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 No. Tails. I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Barry. And you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Barry? There's always, there's something, always in the something in the trash bin. <sighs> All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! Ha ha ha! Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let that into our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. <laughs> There's always success if you check the trash bin. A key ring? Must be Shadow, the locksmiths. Oh yeah, locksmith. Sure thing, but there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Game. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. <laughs> we we learned that one from Rouge. He's just been giving keys to people though, right? Yeah, you have a key, and you have a key. Barry, could you open this wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. All right, watch a pro. <coughs> All this dust, you opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. It's <coughs> probably have to use the Ooh, look, look, in the wardrobe on the top right. Nice. Hmm? Tails, do you see this? A pull string. Barry? What? I it's gonna activate something. What the? Back of the war- uh, back of the wardrobe open. There's a full passageway back there. Come on, we have to see where it leads. He's curious, this must mean something big. Oh, dang. Oh, Oops. crap. Ooh. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back through the passage before they spot us. We need to add that to our inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Did we really? Is there anything else we can look Amy. at? Oh, okay. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a bit of a big light on this whole case. <laughs> Could you please tell off? No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. She gonna dip again? Uh, let's talk to Shadow first. Yeah. I'm so close to getting the scoop of the century. I can feel it. 
I do think it's funny that Shadow sounds like the Maverick. There is nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. Yeah, he's just the Maverick. It's, it's fun. <laughs> no. It's fun, and it with works. With less, with less, because I it goes all to tails. I have no more grime in my voice left for grime? anyone else but tails. Oh, let me drink more water. You know, maybe we will get out of here. Actually, Barry, we will certainly not. Out of here, order. Start. Oh, I'll take you up on that coffee. <laughs> When I back up the dining car, I'll whip it right up. A coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Oh my god. Some marshmallows. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. No, that's cocoa. Sure. Sure. <laughs> it took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. Shadow, we have a question. We have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and I know why. Uh. Well, pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip! Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly! We're ready! According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door right here is the lounge car, and the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone to keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Oh. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others. So one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back these claims. They will remain anonymous. I think the point stands. Can you please say, uh, my source is I made it the f up? <laughs> my source is I made it the f up. My <sighs> source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? Will Shadow traffic Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train logic of Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Barry and I can explain the car change, however. <laughs> Barry? What evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten into the dining car? You I got you. You feel bad about going Dora the Explorer, but Tails delivering this line. <laughs> hola, so uh, hola, soy Dora. <laughs> okay, just uh, get myself in order. Think. Scary. Hi. Brain blast. Barry and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. Shook. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Barry! Hmm. This... Adjust my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, 
But of course, this is just a theory. A game theory. A game theory. <laughs> I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up. Other than my hot scoop. <laughs> hot and same tales that I were more fun than you. If Shadow's not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Barry, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, uh, Espio and Vector did see Shadow because... Um... This feels was reading. I believe Espio is behind a bookshelf at a table reading. <sighs> Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if? Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seem to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I... I didn't know that. Shadow's been... passing out keys? Perhaps... Barry and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? <laughs> Barry! What evidence supports Shadow's claims that he was giving keys away? This one. That feels good. Now, to get my thoughts in order. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own keys? Couldn't one of those be for him? I've changed her voice like six times, dude. I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? Oh. If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Not that I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in front of murder? I think Barry and I know exactly why Shadow's locking all the doors. Why do they keep including me too? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Hmm? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. <laughs> Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Barry? Uh, yes, Dale? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car, locking the exits and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, oh, Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Barry. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Huh. Uh, but, uh, excuse me? Shadow, you would never do that. It's my 
my birthday! You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah, how dear! Barry, show me the evidence! Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it! You've been so thorough or whatever! What proof do you have? Oh, okay. They all think Shadow was trying to keep us Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Yeah, I think he... The surprise? He, yeah, this is it. This one. This is right. This organized myself. Barry's about to ruin it. I know. Think. No, no, you got this, Barry. Is that big, beautiful, buried brain of yours? <laughs> I'm a gamer. You were rooting through the trash. Huh? What's that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. So cute. It's a band's ticket website. T Tails, don't. <laughs> this is Hot Honey's website. No way. I love them. Aw, uh, Hot Honey? It's a band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured it out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout, oh, the printout of Hot Honey Bands ticket websites exists because... <laughs> Shadow the big Hot Honey fan! Leave. Now. I don't know what kind of music Shadow listens to, but it's obviously not this. So, Shadow must be buying a ticket up. Birthday gift for Amy. But, what? Shadow, is that true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Sh Shadow! I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder! Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag! I want to know everything! Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oh, probably our fault there. Ah, uh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. <clears throat> when I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I <laughs> so sweet. I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this! Yeah. This key opens up any door on the train. I got him through every locked door with ease. That's Clyde's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. 
It's a well-known privilege. Is it? <laughs> Shadow Eye, your gesture is so sweet. And after, after I accused you too. <laughs> How about this? Let's buy tickets later and I'll make it up to you. You can come with me. I uh, don't know if... Too late, it's happening. I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Uh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. You like the mystery of Shadow of Hope North has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. This wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter, down the drain. Maybe I'm curious, who is the source of your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Barry, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on. Let's do it. This nice. is such a nice, like, game. Like, such a real good... It's a, it's a good time. A feel good, just nice, simple... Vibes are there. It... Yeah. Ready to go to the conductor's car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. <laughs> Thank you.